Dennis Esteban, a Haitian immigrant who first came to the U.S. in first grade, says he often felt isolated at school, especially at lunchtime. So Dennis, along with a few friends, started a club called We Dine Together. As this program grew, they partnered with Be Strong, a national nonprofit organization focused on preventing bullying. Welcome, Dennis. It's so great to have you in thank, the studio. Thank you for having me. And I want to know, why did you start We Dine Together? We Dine Together is a student-led initiative that started in my high school to combat social isolation. We noticed a great divide in our school. We decided to bring people together to share a meal with one another and actually be advocates. So I like to say that the We Dine Together Club for a new student may be a welcoming committee or for a student that may be bullied, it's a safe haven, but for the school, it's a catalyst for change. And were you bullied? Yes, I was bullied, and that's where it all stems from, the feeling of isolation the feeling of depression. And I don't want anybody else to go through that. And now what we notice is now many students all over the nation are you know, stepping in and deciding to be that change that they want to see. Because truth be told, if we don't, then who will? I feel like there are some pre-established groups who are supposed to fit in and we dine together, breaks it up. It's a very honest place to be. Everyone kind of just says what's on their mind and it's really judgment free. Dying together has changed my life. I met a lot of people and my English got better since then. Students like these are the reason we dine together works so well. I think the biggest help, the biggest thing made to me is helping meet new people that otherwise I wouldn't have met. It's really cool to see that there's a universal language here. For one, people love food everywhere. And two, more than that, people love that they, they feel valued and they feel wanted. Jordan Hernandez is an English teacher at Boca Raton Community High School and the advisor of We Dine Together, who helped start the group with Dennis and three other students. If you are still interested in being like on a committee, if you want to join in, it's really cool to see this, um, this bridge of a huge chasm of isolationism, kids that feel lonely, they don't feel like they're them true themselves, and so they come here and they kind of find themselves a little bit in making new relationships, and it's been really neat to see the students that feel like they don't have a voice walking out of here just super talkative, super confident, and um, with a new identity. Building a relationship with people, right? Spreading unity, right? Promoting togetherness. We believe that if we're not moving together, we're not moving at all. This is such a cool organization. I mean, how can someone be a member, and what about a new school signing up? Well, the first step is nominating a Be Strong state rep. And then after the nomination process, we then fuel the state reps with different activities, advocacy, awareness that they can go through throughout the months to really mobilize them and help them be the agents of change that we want them to be. And where can people go to find out more? People can go to bestrong.global to find out more information. Well, you're just the most awesome ambassador, and it was so great having you in thank the you studio for, today. Thank you very much for having me. All right. Now, don't go away. Joining us when we come back is a great friend of Dennis's and the executive director of Be Strong, Ashley Cromer. We'll be right back. talking to Dennis Estemine, co-founder of We Dine Together and director of Be Strong. And joining us now is Ashley Cromer, executive director of Be Strong, a national nonprofit organization focused on preventing bullying. Welcome. Hi, guys. So great to have you here. Now, Ashley, tell us, how, how did this all start for you? How Be Strong was founded was from the heart of parents who their son was directly affected by bullying, and they started to go through the process of really looking at what types of solutions were there. And they didn't find something that was a comprehensive approach and a resource that would help their son and what their son was able to find was resiliency and that was really such a tool for him and so this family decided to take the charge on putting together an organization that would provide resources for schools communities and families and I love the name I mean just be strong what is the actual mission our mission is really to see those statistics that unfortunately we're seeing increasing. You know, yeah. about four years ago, 6.7% of ninth through 12th graders had attempted to end their life one or more times. And so the role for Be Strong is knowing that the anti-bullying and the bullying prevention efforts, they're no longer working. And we saw an opportunity and a void to step in and really get behind students and really create the shift and the change that needed to happen. But that disruption for good happening from the bottom up versus the top down model. But that also supports our educators. Our educators are taxed. 
yes. our public school system, yes. time. We serve every single part of that equation and we do it through a comprehensive approach. And Dennis, how did you two get involved together, both of your organizations? We both believe in the same things. We both believe that past efforts are not working, now what can we do together to make that difference? And for the We Dine Together clubs, it's a scalable model. I love that. Now, Ashley, what is the approach you take to prevent bullying? It's really teaching about resiliency. We do share through our events. We have a student state representative program. They're the founders of their We Dine Together clubs. We have an app that is a free resource that connects students to resources, but it also meets them where they are. You know, it's very easy for you to tell your daughter, call 911 if one of your friends is suicidal, but the statistics that support them actually taking action are very low. So we created an er experiential app that brings these resources to them, but in a comfortable way for them. Where is the app and how can you download it? It is available on Apple and Android, and it is a free resource, 911 resources, success line, suicide hotline, safe group. And so what the app does is anywhere you are in the US and Canada, you put in your zip code and it aggregates all of the local nonprofit resources. So if your child meets a child who's hungry, they together can find a local resource because we know children who have not eaten for three days could have some aggression. And in the last two years, we've had 200, over 200,000 searches from students. Number one, food insecurity, which we know one out of four are going to school hungry. And the second is escaping violence. If we can mobilize and get these tools into the hands of our students, we believe that's where the change will occur. And then the fourth prong we have is an eight-week resilience program. And the way that it was positioned is the, the donors and the generous people with their hearts that came together to make it says, you know what? Just have the local community fund the textbooks, we cover everything else. So realistically, a school can partner with Be Strong and they have a fee of maybe maybe $500 a year. Wow. And it's ongoing messaging, morning announcements, constant messaging around the hallways, but it's from the victory. We are not victims. And the reality is, is in transformative resilience, that darkness will come. But we owe our children the toolkit and the toolbox to be able to navigate that. Well, how can we be involved? You go to bestrong.global and you're able to nominate a student because again, we're student-led. So that's how we engage with the school. A student is nominated for the reasons of how they're providing a more inclusive tomorrow. Right. Once that student becomes a leader, let Be Strong take it from there. And then we go into, into the schools and really carry out that relationship. So how can people donate? I love that question almost <laughs> more <laughs> than anything else. Than, no, more than the app question. So we are a nonprofit, and the way you can donate is directly on our site. You can text. You can also send us a check. You can also donate directly on Facebook. And I think an important thing is we have donors and a group of donors who cover our operating cost. So when you give to Be Strong, 100% of your proceeds is going into the work that we do, and we have a 25 cent impact number. We have reached 3.4 million students with a message of hope and resiliency in three years, and we have 50 million that we need to reach. So please help us get there. Thanks Thank for you your time. so much, Thanks both for, for being us. here and for joining us. Great and to find out more about Be Strong and how you can get involved, go to bestrong.global. We also have more information, of course, on our website at thebalancingact.com. And don't go away, because joining us next to talk about safe social media use and how you can promote the positive, positive use of technology to your kids is cyberbullying expert Dr. Samir Hinduja. We'll be right back.